Okay, I'm going to declare at 6.30 and call this meeting to order. This is uh, August, uh, August 11th, 6.30, Zoning Board of Appeals meeting. Um, minutes to be approved, July 7th. Has anybody read the minutes? They should make a I motion to accept the minutes as written. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. No appointments. Uh, we're going to jump right to the first case and actually we're going to go to the second case of the night because the first case nobody's here so this is going to be case number 2020.08.11b the case of Nicholas Monticello of 141 Nyes Lane a cushion who was petitioning the board for a special permit to construct an accessory apartment over an existing garage this request is being made under the provisions of section 3.3.1b1. Mr. Monticello? Help. Okay. Now you can read that part of it, huh? So it looks like on the plan that you submitted, you're adding another garage to your property? Yeah, because I'm building like the in-law on top of that because the land itself was just shy of being able to subdivide it. So in this case, I'm just gonna build a, an, an additional garage and then and like an in-law on top of it. Okay, I, the reason why I'm asking that question <laughs> is because when I just read the, the agenda, yep. I looked at the plans quickly and it looked to me like you were gonna put an apartment above mm -hmm. a garage that hasn't been built yet. Yeah. And that's your plan. Yep. But yet your uh, petition yeah, I, I clarified well, it. Over an existing, existing garage. garage right? Yeah, I clarified it with Jim. He said because the plan is to have a garage there and then build it. Like at some point, I guess I just need the approval to say that the in-law would be okay on the garage that will be there. That's that's fine with us. I mean, that's mm. whether it's over an existing garage or it's over a, a, a new garage. Mm. They're just trying to clarify it because yeah. what. What the description on your application says is over existing garage. Mm. Uh. So we can scratch that and just say it's going to be over. Over at some point to be built garage. And over the new garage. Yeah. Okay. That's that's easy enough. Then all you have to do is meet the guidelines as far as the square footage yep. on your property to meet the accessory apartment. Okay. Yeah. And yeah, I've been talking to Jim Brother. He's been very helpful too. Yeah. Sure he that he always is. Yeah. How many square foot is the uh, existing home? Mm, I don't know off. I think it's 1,900. Single level or double? Double. I mean, it's a standard 20. Yep. Four by 28. Yep. And finished basement. Yeah, also. basement don't count. All right. Um, but you, you're going to have to meet the requirements for square footage. Yep. And then on the accessory apartment, based on mm -hmm. all the all the floor. Yeah, the area ratio. Yep, and then and that, Jim will explain that to you. So you yeah. design your plans. I hope you get your yeah. apartment within the yeah amounts. within that percentage. Right. Yeah, right. Because mm -hmm. you don't you don't want to build the apartment mm -hmm. and not be able to use some of the space that's there over yeah. the garage because mm -hmm. that's typically what will end up happening. You'd probably have to make closets and whatever just to yeah. Start. That's what I wanted to. That was like the first thing I wanted to make sure I cleared with him before going forward anymore. He'll guide you forward, no problem. The, the, the apartment looks at low end to be over a thousand square feet. I think it was just, uh, it's in the nine, well, nine hundreds. Which is about 50% of your home, not 25. You, you're not even really in the yeah. ballpark. The, um, but it, if I, Insulate the garage itself. It doesn't that count as livable, livable space? I don't. I, I get a, again when you have an attached in-law apartment. The the portion of the house that's not the apartment, you can try to add on as much as you can to get that up and get it. You you basically build in two different dwellings. You can't really say that the bottom of the garage where you have a laundry room to, to utilize for the in-law apartment as part of your home. Hmm. Alright. Yeah, but I just wasn't sure whereas like if it is insulated, doesn't it count towards the total 
square footage of the lot, which is then where I can get that percentage of the livable space. That's really not up to us to decide. That's going to be through the building it, department. It, it, it's uh, definitely going to, as I said, be, be part of your space, mm -hmm. but it's going to be part of the space of this dwelling, not your home 100 feet away. Yeah. All right, I can run it by Jim again. Let me ask you this. If they propose the garage, and after the garage is built, can he propose for an accessory apartment above the garage? And that's basically what he's doing, just yep. trying to put the car before instead of building the garage and then being denied later. He's yep. he to do it now, yep. which I, I agree with. That's I think he's in the right step because yep. he, he already has a garage. He doesn't want to build this for nothing. He wants to build it for an accessory use. Yep. Um, I just, I, I don't have a plan for the house. I'm just taking his word for it that it's 1,900 square feet. So we'd only be able to allow about 470 feet. Well, it's the total, it's 25% uh, of the total floor floor space. Correct. Now that typically they living area. Total, total, total area usable. Yeah, area. And, and if it was an addition on the house, you would include the accessory apartment and the total dwelling. Not true. That's the way Jim's always calculated it. Okay. If you have a 4,000 square foot home, you can build a 1,000 square foot accessory. 25%? Right? 25, 25%, right? Well, no, that's the, the way Jim, well, if it's attached to the house, it's part of the living area now. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna speak for the building inspector, but that's the way he's calculated all the square, all the accessory apartments that I've done. And I never understood why you go and add the square footage to the building and then had that be 25% of what was already existing. Yeah. Because to me, because to me, I always thought it would be 25% of the existing well, was building. there already. Yeah, that's why, okay. I, that's why, yeah. That was my understanding. I, I, I can definitely agree that if the building inspector says it's 25%, however he calibrates it, it doesn't matter to me. He's, he's our zoning officer saying that it meets that's the criteria. The, that's the but I don't see anything in front of me that says it does. That's, 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 the, way he's, that's the way he proposed it to me when we did a couple of accessory apartments within the last year. And I said, you use the addition and calculate that as part of the floor area ratio? And he said, yes. Now, I ain't gonna argue with him. He's the one that's gotta enforce yeah. it, so. He calls the shots. Let me ask you this. The Tip reason you're doing this is ball. because 25 you're shy of footage, but he's for the second increase. But total, yeah, it was 2.56 acres, you need the 1.3 <laughs> to fill up the total area. So I was just doing this. I'm gonna be occupying it. Okay. All right, so our job here tonight is either to approve or not approve a special permit. If you get yourself into uh, a pickle later on, this is all in your hands between you and the building inspector and whoever else may be, mm -hmm. if it gets approved. Right. So, does anybody have any questions besides? No, not really. Not. Anybody? No? Then can I have a motion? I, I I just I think I just want to explain to him what happens is we're allowing you to have uh, there's nobody here to say they don't want this so if, if you go ahead and get this and build it doesn't mean you're going to be able to use it it has to meet the requirements it ha you have to prove that it's only 25 percent mm -hmm. and then you have to come back before the board and you know yeah. to be able to use it so I mean that's the way I I've seen not they'll, see from it is they'll, they'll, in order to get an occupancy permit? Uh, they've right? all been kicked back after they've been built. Yep. That, that's the way I've seen them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jim, Jim changed that. Okay. Once we approved the special permit, what we used to do is have them come I, back. I, just a couple of months ago, we had one come in after it was all done for approval. That may be, but I don't know why the reason was for that, because I checked with Jim on this specifically and asked him that. And he said, what we were doing before, years ago, we'd give a, a special permit out. And they'd go and build it, and then it would be inspected, and then they would come back and we'd rub a stamp it. And then Jim would give them the occupancy permit. But Jim said, you know what, why go through another meeting for nothing? Just let me follow up on it and I'll take care of everything. Mm -hmm. And I said, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm good with that. I'm good with that. So all I, I do is do I, the special permit. And he follows. We don't think we should. If if we're going to do that, we don't think that the board should see the proof that it's going to meet the requirement. No, it's up to the building inspector. That's what Jim said. He'll take it upon himself to make sure everything's done through either the board of health or the building department. 
then something should be changed so it's not put before us. They need the special permit from this board to get the approval to get a special permit just to get show just to get a building permit for the accessory apartment oh, right that's all this is about who why do you need a special permit if we're never going to deny one because we we don't we don't have to see anything to show that it's going to conform we don't have to follow up on the codes we don't have to follow up on what the building department does on that building according to the there's, plans. There's nothing even before us showing us that a accessory apartment will be built to code. To, to the, I mean, I, I'm it's, it's, the op, it's the opposite. Everything that, I'm sh that you're showing me here says that it won't conform. I don't know that. If this is the plan he submits to the building the, There's a plan here for a 1,000 plus square foot dwelling. He has a 2,000 square foot dwelling. It absolutely doesn't comply. All the information is right in front of us. Okay. I don't. I, we don't have a letter of denial. So there's no arguments as far as the building department is concerned. Jim said about right. moving uh, right about moving this case forward for a special permit. That's all he's here for. If it doesn't meet the requirements of the building department. And that's up to Jim to figure it out. I'm not the I'm not the building inspector. I I do agree. I, I it's an engineer plan that that clearly shows that it doesn't meet the requirements. That's that's my problem. That's well, my you may have to modify your plan then. Yeah, what's I've been? That's what I'm saying. Like I made sure. Like when that's I not up to us. To this with Jim. Yeah, they, we're not approving this plan. Mm -hmm. We're appro either approving or denying a special permit for that address. Mm -hmm. or How you get there? Yeah. How that, you get there is not my concern. That, that's all I want him to be aware of. Uh, I really, I, I agree with you. It's a special permit for accessory apartment. You come in. There's nobody saying nobody hit anything. And right. I, I, I disagree with the fact that he has to come if there's nothing we're going to look at, nothing that we're going to review. But I don't have any issue granting it either. I just want him to be sure, uh, sure before you know spends money on plans and starts building that. So do it yourself does not work right the way well, it's submitted. All right. So is there a motion on the floor to approve a special permit for 141 Nice Lane for uh, accessory apartment? I'll make that motion. Is there a second? I'll second it. All those in favor of approving the special permit for. Mr. Monticello, please signify by raising your right hand, please. Okay, okay. it passes. Amanda's got an approval for you here. And just to be safe, and it's on record, as Bob said, you, you got an unanimous you decision. We're not against the guy. Just want to make you sure that you plan. When you go show, when you go talk to Jim, because you're going to wait 20 days now anyhow. Yeah. Anybody can appeal our decision after a 20-day waiting period, after it's been posted, um, you can go see Jim mm -hmm. to get your building permit. Before you, while you're there getting your building permit, you might want to check with him on this plan if itself that you're, that you're going to be building and mm -hmm. make sure it meets the requirements of floor area ratio. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay. And because I don't know, I don't know if he's read, if he's looked at the plan mm -hmm. or he hasn't. Yeah. Maybe he's said he it. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. So the plans, the survey, the, everything I've been working with. You're just letting you know that you don't want to go and start building a garage and find out your square footages are off, and then you're going to be, mm -hmm. you're not going to be a happy guy. Amanda, mm -hmm. do you want this back? Because you can always change and no, put on paper. Mm -hmm. July? I got one. Oh, you got it okay. already? I'm trying to. Just sign both of those, please. I want to be able to that explains the waiting period. Okay, congratulations then. Thank you. Good luck. Thanks. Are we all set? I'm good. Okay, we're going to move on to the second bit, what was the first case. Case number 2020.03.24C. It's a continuation of the case of Jennifer Mello, Milo of 367 Middle Road, a Kushner, who is petitioning for a special permit 
to convert a single family dwelling into a two family dwelling. This request is being made under the provisions of section 3.3.1 B6. Mrs. Mello or Milo or representative. And since there's nobody here, uh, this is the second meeting and nobody's attended. Um, I'll make a motion we deny the case based on uh, a no show. Okay. Second. second that. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Signify Aye. by raising your right hand, please. Okay, unanimous. Denied. Mm -hmm. To <laughs> do we have any old business you'd like to discuss? How about new business? I got something I got to bring up here because I'm not sure where we're going. And I, I attempted to get some information, but I can't seem to get it. Okay, we got a case coming up for the uh, the old shell station over here. Yep. We had it scheduled for the school because we figured it was going to be a large audience. And that was for tonight. Actually, it would have been for tonight because we would have had it on the agenda. But since we only had these two small cases, we came here. My understanding is we can't use the school anymore for any more public hearings. I so think we. That's wrong because we, the planning board, has one coming up September 29th. Okay, but this is what I was told from town hall. Okay, I'm just. So now we have a schedule. I don't know. Is the school is. committee allowing that to happen? Because the last time I called the selectman's office, mm -hmm. I asked if the school was being able to be used after the tenth, which today is the eleventh, yep. and we were going to have our meeting there because we were going to have the New England Farms case mm -hmm. there along with these two cases. But I was told that by Jim Marat that the school was not going to be available after the tenth, and you guys had a meeting there on the sixth. The sixth. Did you have a big turnout? Yes. You did. So we can't advertise until I know for sure that we can use the school for the venue. Because I get a feeling it's not going to be three people like there were last week when I was nope. in. Okay. Well, they had brought plans in for site plan review right. from the planning board with mm. oodles of information. Right. I think they went to the town clerk. Mm -hmm. He has a copy and I. I don't know where the rest. Of I haven't got a chance to talk to you about it. Yep. And I tried to catch. I tried to catch it on TV that night. Yep. It wasn't live. Nope. And, and it was just they only brought in all the paperwork in order to begin the site plan review because the site plan review is a public hearing and it has to be two week notification, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, like everybody right. does. Right. Right. So we postponed that meeting until we don't know when, but I, didn't, I don't have it. I was told that the 10th of August, the school committee wanted us to stop using the school for public hearings. No, we'll just have to check so me. I haven't got an answer back. That's why I haven't got back to you about advertising for it. I talked to the guy. Sanitizing for the school. The engineer. So that's what it's all about. The engineer for the project, I called him and talked to him and let him know that it was being postponed. And that they were going to the planning board for site plan review because even though we do site plan review and have done site plan review in the past this project is probably one of the bigger projects that I've seen on this board other than Dunkin Donuts we did Dunkin Donuts years ago and we did the site plan review that wasn't going that didn't go through planning mm -hmm. and we we approved that one and we went over the plans and all the people came in and they all complained and, and then everybody was happy after they got all the sewage done going through the guy's property. So everybody was happy and, and he got his Dunkin' Donuts. This has got a little more to it, okay? And I've been asking that since the time I heard about it, is why doesn't planning do site plan review on a project like this? You guys had access to engineers, you got access to lawyers, you get the town planner, you get the building inspector working with the town planner. We get nobody working for us. That's why I wondered why they were coming to the Board of Appeals. They still have to come here. Afterwards? They still have to come here for an approval. Just because of the That's square footage. Yeah. Because of the square footage of the building. For well, variance or a special permit? Well, they have to come to see us about taking it's residential less. property and making it commercial? 
No, it's our no. entrepreneurship it's our property. Business. It's our it's, it says built, the business it's building goes yeah. all the way down to on Wing Road. Close to Pope Park. Yeah. Yeah. Does it go down to Wing Road? No, but it goes 300, 300 feet off of Freedom. Oh, all right. Well, 300 feet. Main all right. Okay. 300 right. feet in, in both directions off Main Street. Okay. This way and all the way down to the. Okay. That makes yeah. sense now. Okay. So if you buy a house down on Lawson Avenue and it's 200 feet off from Wayne Main Street, right. you can it's be, still in the It's business. still a business. Yeah. Yep. You can still put okay. a business there. Yeah. So, but that's that's here and there. I got mm -hmm. There's other things that need to be asked along the way, but combining residential property with that particular property, there are already butters. Mm -hmm. It creates other stuff, and I talked to Jim about some of this, but I don't want to get into the details right now. Um, what they're going to have to come and see us for. Basically, is anything over 3,000 square feet for building has to be approved by get a special permit from this board mm -hmm. for the additional square footage. They got 4,000, so that's what they're going to be in front of us for after the planning board, which is a lot less than what's there now. Pro I, might combined, be, might be combined. Let me ask you this question, and it just came into my mind: in my, Why couldn't we have a dual meeting? I talked about the possibility of that with the um, town administrator because of the location situation mm. of if we had to look into either renting a space, having it somewhere else, if we can't use the school, doing a back-to-back -back meeting, having planning meet, you know, and then followed by ZBA or, or, or one or the other. I don't, I don't see the, the rush to come to this board to approve square footage until it's been approved. The site plan was well, approved. Well, that's fine. It was more discussion of having the amount of abutters and people expected that instead of trying to find a location twice. No, I, I hear you. That a lot right. of the same people would be interested in both cases. That we might as well have the meeting back to back and well, have the, people just stay through for it. Your, your meeting went over two hours last time. Yes, because we haven't had people in three months. We had a lot of stuff. Oh, you had other stuff going on too. Oh, absolutely. Oh, you didn't what, just eight do, cases. Oh, you didn't just do the no, no the I had all kinds of stuff. Four public hearings. Ah, okay. Different. Because uh, I had to release a lot of stuff we had to catch up on. I went. To, I went on cable to see if I could watch it on cable, and you can't even see it on cable. Open. I think it's on. It's I don't up know why. Now. It's on YouTube now. It's, it's up. Run, it's, it's up I just checked it a couple of days ago. Oh okay. no, I watched it last night. Okay. Um, but I'm thinking it, on a, it shows on the timer on the cable channel. Really? That is two hours and twenty minutes 20, or something. Yeah. Right? Unbelievable. So I thought you guys had a two-hour meeting just going over paperwork. I'm, no. I'm thinking, yeah, they didn't get that done that night. No, all kinds of different things. And I didn't get a chance to talk to you about it. Two or three solo. Solar farm reviews. But you know, you got another meet. You got another meeting scheduled with that people then. September 29th. Okay. Twenty fourth. No, twenty fourth. Thank you. You're welcome. I must you, have is that something? Is that is it? Twenty fourth. Yep. Is that going to be the only case you guys have that night? Nope. So far, it's one. One, two, three, four, five. As of this moment. Do you think that you guys are going to have any decision made? That night for no them? No way. No way. Right. So you're going to pull, you're going to have to continue that meeting. Correct. Again. Yes. So there's no rush. So maybe for us. we should plan. Maybe look at doing a possible joint meeting on when you think you're going to be closer for planning, and then maybe even schedule it as a special meeting and have just that case for planning and just that case for ZBA. Well, let's see what happens the 29th. It's kind. Of, it's kind of like I don't want to go and get ahead of these guys. No, I agree. Because if we approve a building that's 4,000 square feet and they get denied from and them. They get denied, yeah. So no, I agree. what's the difference? No. We're just going to be like, if they approve it and they got to meet all the conditions that they're expecting to have them meet and they approve it, I mean, it's a matter of, it's a 10 minute meeting for us. Yeah. Sure. Okay. I don't see a site plan. Site plan reviews take a while. Yeah. It goes into different cases. Right. It's usually extended two or three or four months after the public hearing, so everybody can get dot their eyes, cross their t's, make sure all the footage is right, make sure everything is right. It doesn't happen the first time. We sometimes we have to get KP Law involved if there's we can't ask answer all their questions. Right. So I don't understand. Really it's not date huh? Excuse me. I, I understand. This is yep. not just uh, you know. That's this is a full-blown presentation. Oh. That's 
this will be if the meeting occurs and they can still use the school we just made the date as long as we can get the school if the school isn't going to let us go then well that's that's not for me to answer that's, I mean, right. I, that's the last answer i got yep am i am i wrong i could be things yep. change every day around here that's right that's why we've been bouncing around the way we've been trying to set up schedules and meeting dates and everything mm -hmm. driving her nuts but we're trying to do what we can with what we have yep so how about this we have a case for september that just came in so do you want i'll put it on the agenda for the next one we'll just have another update of this case and you know see what? where we're at next month well it'll still be before you meet anyways unless you guys want to have the meeting after planning board meets so we can get an update from planning board essentially on how it went and kind of have another idea well, of what well, we're looking at who is this kid this is a total different case total different have. case okay. we have one that came in how about if we do this we scheduled New England Farms to come in the same night for that meeting and and if we approve or disapprove the square footage of the building the approval will be contingent on the approval from the planning board accepting site plan review then if if they accept it we've already done what we need to do and if they don't accept it then it's not on us I don't disagree with that in theory if they, however if they don't accept it they should be able to come back for whatever they are accepted it shouldn't be a, now they can't come talk to us again for three years or whatever well, we're not yeah. we're not approving well, site plan here's here's my only thing with that but, but but if the square footage gets changed oh well i'm talking about if the plan they submitted to us we could approve the plan agree I, and 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 only up it'll only be approved it, it'll be a, could be approved by the board but it wouldn't be accepted by the town if the planning commission decides that the site plan doesn't meet their specs i would be hesitant then, to then, hold that meeting prior to the planning board meeting though because it's already being talked about around town you're going to have a lot of people coming and they're going to want answers to to questions that wouldn't be seen by our board the only question in front of the, in front of the board is whether we approve the extra thousand square feet mm -hmm. nothing else okay when, whenever you want i'm just trying to keep it easy i mean we can't have that we can't have that meeting here for that's what that I one mean. case gonna, yeah. and then yeah. new england farms here because that ain't going to happen well here. that's what i'm saying as of right now we're only scheduled for one meeting new england farms is going to be held up through planning board anyways that i think it's all right so then if you it's almost counterproductive to try to make a bigger meeting when they're still going to have to go through planning board that's anyways. what i suggested in the beginning if you want to wait till planning's done and then they have then they can come and they realize that planning has approved the site plan review and all we're doing is approving the square footage of the building that is there'll be, there'll be a lot of the public that's the way still gonna need that's the way i would expect it to run. still gonna need a large place that's right we might have to go anytime to, uh, that Fox this is World on the Stadium. agenda <laughs> <laughs> or if we did it or if we did it the night of their meeting and we considered to go and they were going to use a school and we went bef before they stopped their meeting we could open our meeting neither approve or, or not approve the square footage and then let them run with it that is completely it, it, your call yeah. however i'm away for the night that night it, so it, i'm it, just saying it right now i won't oh, be for, is there no um the 28th you mean 24th 24 is there no requirement for us to act on a, a case i mean they, they've put in an application to the board of appeals the, we, we can put it off as long as we the want. timing right now because of the covid, the COVID. situation right. it negates that right yeah. now that 90 day timeline yes is in uh it, that's already gone through copeland and page yeah. to to assure us on that e e even though we're holding a meeting hmm. They, I believe, I'm not sure how ZBA does it, but until all the paperwork is presented to us, the clock doesn't start running till then. And the, if they came in, they would have to have a public hearing to show everything. Mm -hmm. I believe that they were coming in for, correct? Okay. That makes sense. I'm just, I mean, we've got... I've got plans at home showing the whole site plan, everything. Yep. They oh, applied yeah. months yeah. ago. Yeah. I, I want to make sure we're not, we're not uh, be obligated to, to, to act. Yeah, within, no, I agree. Within a certain time period, correct? That's what you're speaking It's usually yeah. within 90 yeah. days. I, I know it used to be, uh, yeah. uh, again, we, we had to. You, you had your 30 days and then your 30 days yeah. and your 30 days. Yeah. And, um, you couldn't just tell people, oh, we'll get to that when we get to it, you know, because it's not fair to someone trying to build right. something. Once those 90 well, days are up, they automatically get yeah, them. Right. I realize it's different with you guys, but that doesn't necessarily really Just because you can 
put it off from the planning board position doesn't relieve us. That's correct. But, so would you like to have the meeting on the 24th prior to planning board or would you like to meet the Tuesday after planning board meets or did you want to yeah. do it before planning board meets? When do you have to, you have another case? I have another case that so, just came in. So it's mandatory that they have to be within the month of September, correct? Okay, we'll schedule that one then. It, it isn't, isn't from what I'm being told. We don't have to act on anything right now because of the COVID. The, the timeline yeah. isn't, we're not being held to no, the I'm 90 days right now. No, I'm talking about this other case. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about this But one. they're the same. That's right. all I'm trying to get at is right. one, well, one case should be treated saying. different than another. Yep. If uh, I have no problem putting that on. I'm just thinking if you know we're going to have to find a bigger location so it would make yeah, sense if you want to, if if you do plan on talking anything new england farms i would i would think to do it right before planning board because they're already going to have the bigger venue well you're going to have everybody there that's Thanks, interested yeah. in that project there that night yeah. now did you have a large crowd were they the last case that night they were pretty yeah, late on pretty late, yeah yeah so did, did you have a lot of people that wanted to No, speak? because i think the people understood that when they were bringing in these plans, it was only to present a permit for a public hearing. No decision was going to be no made. Decision. Correct. But the people that showed up there expected that they were going to be able to talk, right? Mm, no. No. In the public hearing, they were able to talk, but not. But this wasn't a public. It was a public no, hearing. This was just presentation. Oh, presentation. Oh, okay. To bring the paperwork in to start the site plan review process. So you guys can review. But the next meeting, meeting will be a public. Absolutely. Hearing. Yeah. Okay. Did you guys ask for any additional drawings? Uh, they brought in ten copies of everything. Right. Yeah. But did you guys ask for anything more that night? No. Or did you have to go over it and then you got to request it from they them? They didn't go over it. They brought it in, put they it on the table. They gave us some pretty good plans as well. Yeah. 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 I got it. Quite a good Well, layout. compared to the plans that we got in that little thing. Yeah. Got yeah, the whole like stack. Yeah. On t big triangle things, like 10 of them, long stuff like this. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of stuff, I believe. All right. And we had asked them, I don't know if they're going to make a... Well, pinpoint, what do they call PowerPoint. 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 That was close. Pinpoint, PowerPoint. <laughs> and I don't know if they're going to have a PowerPoint review or not with right. the stage and everything. And like I said, I, we don't know if they can have it. If you're stating that after the 10th of school, not let us use it. Um, I don't know. I don't well, know. that was my right. last conversation. We're right. already going to be, you're going to already you? be stuck with finding a location anyways, and you right. have to adhere to the same advertising guidelines that I do. Absolutely. So. It, it, it makes sense because we're going to both be on the same timeline and looking for the same location. Let me ask you this. Sure, Could we do it as a, well, I don't know if you guys want to hang around the planning board waiting for a joint hearing. We have. Uh, well, besides that, you have five other cases, four other cases yeah, coming up plus other. that. Unless they're first, I wouldn't want to hang around for two hours just yeah. to yeah. the planning board. I can watch it. I can watch it on TV. We're already up to one, two, three, four, five appointments already up to 745. And we start at 630. Not counting. Not counting New England Farms. No, New England Farms is on 745 site plan review. I expect that to be anywhere between 20 minutes to an hour, depending on public response. Have you talked to Lisa about the school? She hasn't said anything. To I you? haven't brought it up again. She hasn't. She didn't get back. I, oh, I asked, all right. I, asked, I didn't know that. I, I can't talk to her. I'm due to come in tomorrow. I can. Uh, I'll talk to her. Well, I called her not last week. The week before, I think it was Thursday, and I asked her about that, and she said she was. Uh, oh, that's what it was. Um, Miss Heba was out on vacation. So she couldn't get an answer direct. And there's a lot of changes going on at the school daily right now. Yeah, yep. yeah. And so I said, can you get back to me and let me know so I can let Amanda know so we can schedule, schedule something. a meeting so we can figure out where we're going and what we're doing. Because I right now, I don't know where we're going. Okay, so, well, we don't need to set the location right now as long as we set the date. Planning board's already set the date, so there's no harm in setting the same date because the location's going to have to be figured out for both boards anyways. And you meet at 6.30, right? So would you want to do it at like 6, do like a 6 o'clock on the, on the 24th? 
that would make sense. That would, that would work for us because we're not going to take old us old a half an hour. I'm not there. I can leave um, everything so everything's ready to go, and I'll watch the meeting to do the minutes. Um, but I can leave um, anything that's going to be voted. I have everything ready to go. It's see. a matter of you know signing off on it. I mean, it would make things less difficult for the school. The school, the residents that are going to watch anyway, it for so, everybody yeah. involved. We well, yeah. recommend they get the sprayer thing now, disinfectant. I see yeah. the fire department does that after every meeting. Yep. There's masks there, there's sanitizer, everything's right there. The same people that are going to be at our meeting are going to be. That's what them. I mean. It makes sense for everybody involved. That's why I'm trying to. Six o'clock, so and so it's uh, on a Thursday. And, and the worst case scenario, Thursday. It's a okay. Thursday, the twenty fourth. And in the worst case scenario, uh, doesn't happen. We, we have to postpone it for yeah. whatever and reason. And you would have to anyways too. So it's September kind of a package 24th, thing. Yeah. September twenty fourth, the Thursday. So that's a Thursday. We'll do it at six instead of six thirty. Yep. Yeah. And location will be decided. Yeah. Hopefully the middle school. We'll, we'll probably get that information in a couple of days. Absolutely. But. All right, so the meeting with that schedule for September for yeah. the... The 24th. The one case. One case. Oh. And well, we'll put New England Farms on there, so there'll be two cases. Do you want to do both cases that night? I don't see why not. The other case is going to be... I think it's just an accessory apartment, if I remember correctly. I'd have I was to just going to ask you what it's about. Yeah. yeah, I'd have to double check. I, I put it aside to get through one meeting at a time because we've had like three of them I've been juggling, so I didn't even want to get into it, but I'm pretty sure it's an accessory apartment, if I remember correctly. Yeah, why don't we just do it the same night then? Yeah. Okay. Get it out of the way. Okay. Now, if we can't use the school for some reason. Figure it out. Well, we I think, do, don't you have to, when you put the article in the newspaper, you have to state the location? Yes. Yeah, but you'll have to, too, and they'll That's be in right. the paper on the same day, so yeah. it'll, yeah. we'll pretty much mirror each other, so yeah. we'll, we'll find a location I together, know. Mark. <laughs> I don't want to jeopardize that other small case. Well, but I don't. We don't have to come in here. Well, for one we can tentatively time. set it because there's nothing on our agenda that says we have to set the meeting set in stone right now. We we set it as as we go. So why don't we tentatively do it for the 24th, yeah, given you know, the location? And if if that case doesn't be heard and it's only going to be that other accessory case, yeah. then we could do it for like the 15th or whatever day we would have normally met. Yeah, you, you can set the date. Yeah, yeah. within. That's what I mean. So now. we're not we're not set to this. We'll do it. The, All right. We'll, why, don't we just, why don't we plan on doing that? We'll have both cases that night okay and if something changes or whatever then we we'll keep, go to like our regular then meeting we'll, date. We'll, then we can when you set the advertising just set the advertising for that one person and we would do it like and here, do, do it here on yeah. the probably the 15th and we don't know that when will we know um we'll, we can get it within a few days get a decision within from the, the next, school this week yeah I'll say within the it's probably within Tuesday. the next mm -hmm. week because yeah. i'd have to get something drafted to put it in in the paper yeah. and whatnot and i'm gonna tell the administrator no more about this. Yes. She's back to work this week. Yep, I can. Um, yeah. If you're gonna come in tomorrow, just check in. Yep, I'm gonna come in tomorrow anyway, so okay. I'll, I'll, I'll touch base. Okay. Well, maybe I'll call you at the end of next week and see if we know anything. Yeah. All right. All right. Um, does anybody else have any other business? No. No further business in front of us. Motion can I have to a adjourn. motion to adjourn? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. We are adjourned. Mm -hmm.